Hi, uh, in this session I'm going to cover some blade uh, templating uh, uh, concepts uh, that I used in Laravel. So uh, what are the advantages of blade? Uh, now blade is very simple and powerful templating engine. Um, unlike any other PHP templating engines, blade does not restrict you to use PHP code in your views. So you can, you can definitely use PHP code uh, and you can uh, use uh, blade code side by side. Blade will also cache your templates um, until they are changed. So if, if you have not changed your template, then blade will uh, cache them forever. Uh, now, blade, um, the main advantages of blade is inheritance. Now you can have a master layout and you can have child layouts and in the child layouts you you can have um, you can extend and you can inherit the master layout um, i'm going to show you what i'm talking about now i have this um, if you see over here i have a layouts um, directory and in that directory i have app.blade.php now this is default uh, laravel layout that comes um, along with the package now if i open it i'll see um, there's a HTML tag, head tag, and there's a body tag. So let me show it to you on the front end what it looks like. Let me clear this off. Now, if I go to home, uh, this is the master layout. And it will show you, um, it will have all these logout links. Um, my text is enlarged, so bear with me. Um, so it will have this register links over here. Uh, it will have this logout links. It will have this. Uh, this this is a navigation part, which is which I've shown, which is which you can see over here. So it will have this links. But at the end, if you see, there is a yield content, which means this layout is extendable. Now uh, let me create a simple layout over here. So I have a layout admin page.blade.php which says uh, which is a plain text over here. Now uh, let me go and um, copy some content over here. I'll, I'll just copy and explain it to you rather than typing it. So let me explain this to you now. Now what we are doing over here is extending the layout dot app now why this name over here so layouts is the directory and app is the name of the file you don't need to include the dot play dot php now if you if i go over here there is a yield content now this is a keyword that is given to um, a section so then we have to define a section so section content so if this was content one, this would have been content one. Let me clear this off. And inside it, I can define anything. So I can say, hello world. If I refresh it, if I go to that uh, admin pages, I should be able to see hello world over here. Now, what I want to do is um, I want to pass some variables or an array from the pages controller and display it on the front end. Um, so to do that, if I, if, I, if I pass this as an array, it's available to me as a array over here and to to um, echo out anything uh, on the front end, it's just open double open uh, brackets and double close brackets, and then you have to use a dollar and the variable name, and that way you should be able to echo the content of the variable. Next, uh, I want to show you uh, what if this is a, a array so instead of pages what if I, I have an array over here 
how to get the content so let me just uh, create an array so by the way this this is a new uh, way of creating arrays um, from the tra traditional ways where you, we used to have um, uh, the rounded brackets something like this and we used to have a keyword array so in this in this format you don't have to mention the uh, array format uh, array keyword sorry uh, now i'm going to have some content over here so i'm going to have say id um, one and name and name I'm, I'm just going to save some fruits so let me just rename it to fruits and apple let me just copy it orange That's it. I'm just going to have four over here now. Um, how do I how do I uh, use this array in my uh, page dot blade dot php? Um, now uh, blade um, has a few constructs that you can use, like uh, you can use a e set similar to php. Then you you can use some control structures uh, for example in this case uh, we can use a for each um, structure so the format of the for each is um, just start with a for each and an emphasis and an add sign so for each and then fruits as fruit so make sure you have a dollar sign um, in front of the variables uh, and the array. So for each fruits, uh, this is similar to PHP. Uh, the only difference is there's an add sign over here and there's no opening and closing uh, PHP tags. And to end a for each, it's end for each. So you need to uh, you need to memorize this. Uh, this is the difference. Um, this is not exactly as PHP, but uh, similar to PHP. Now, what I can do is um, I can, um, th since this is this is an array, uh, we will have to use keys over here. So I can say um, this is um, um, fruit and I'm going to echo out the name and let's see uh, if it works on the front end uh, there's a pass error over here um, say expecting on 27 I missed a uh, arrow sign over here so uh, sorry about that so let's see if it works now yeah it works so so now we that we know the for reach construct um, let's see um, some other constructs such as uh, if construct so in a for each uh, statement if you want uh, if you want uh, to use a if statement uh, n now you can you can use uh, this if statement anywhere in outside the for outside the for each statements as well but i'm going to show you since since i have this for each statement i'm going to show you how to use a if statement inside a for each so uh, the construct is similar so you can say if uh, you need to uh, add uh, emph add, add sign before the if um, keyword if um, I'm going to say if fruit f 
fruit um, name uh, is equal to mango and to end it uh, I need to say and if uh, it, uh, and let me just echo out uh, mango and let me just get rid of this mango fruit so it'll only go inside this loop uh, if the fruit is mango um, in that way uh, you can use some other construct um, uh, I'm going to show in, in the next video I'm going to show you some other constructs of blade and how to extend blade as well um, so uh, that's it for now uh, if you're finding this video is helpful then please uh, like or subscribe to my channel um, and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching